Okay, ready, go. Go. <laughs> so as always, uh, the impact is really good. <laughs> And then one more from uh, this direction. Okay, right. ready, go. Go. All right, so. So the overall flow is uh, really good. You are not really using your arm. Still, it's an arm-driven swing, but mm -hmm. uh, you are not really uh, rushing down mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. okay? mm -hmm. So the, the overall timing, these are really good. Okay. The only thing is that you need to uh, uh, engage your lower body more, mm -hmm. as we saw in the data. Yeah, so the swing plane, the motion is really uh, clean and simple. Mm. So we need to worry about this. Now, let's not waste the time today. Just let's go to directly go to stage three. Sure. And then what we'll do is uh, try to engage your lower body a bit more. Okay. So stage three, use your regular stance. Okay. What's important here is, uh, let me. What's important here is to engage your lower body more. So our main, main focus will be to engage your lower body more. So you see good distance, aim the, aim the ball about here. Yeah. So let's keep it about here so you, that you can swing it okay. through this area for the moment. So stage three, use your regular stance and they keep a good trigger, trigger motion toward the target and they bring it back and they let it go. See how uh, you do this. No need to swing hard at this point, just to try to... Uh, mm -hmm. Well, actually, your stage three is really good. I don't see any uh, abrupt motion here. Okay. So the flow is really good. Okay. The only thing is that on the way up, you're keeping the arm here and then try to swing this way. I'm, I'm too yeah, yeah. So to let, let the hands, hands go away from you by a bit more. Okay. The good turn here, using this, let it go. Now, again, stage three, good trigger. And more. Throw them out more like this. Yeah, then what will happen is uh, because of the momentum, it will go out, but eventually it will come back here. Okay. So with that, you will be able to do feel, this uh, recentering. Feel it going. Yeah, yeah. So and then let the club go, and the uh, arms and club go this way. With that, you will have a shift away. With that, you will be able to push the ground well with the right leg. Okay. And then you will start the recentering motion. Mm -hmm. So all you need to do at this point is give more shift away motion with that continuous recentering. During the backswing, yeah, you will have recentering. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, so the reason why you cannot push the ground well with the right leg is because you don't really let your pelvis go that way. I've been working on that for mm. a couple of so weeks. So you do, you do this, but you are not really moving the pelvis that much. Oh, really? I'm kind of... Yeah, so let's, let's do this. The, the position I want, I want you to feel is hold your arms, lean forward. And from there, when you go to the uh, backswing position, so let's, see, uh, let's go to the top of backswing. You see? So you're not letting uh, your pelvis go that much. So again, back to this position. Always, when you start the backswing, let the pelvis shift first, and then turn around here. Mm, that feels different. Then you'll have a lot of uh, tension building Almost here. Almost straight back. Yeah, go here and then just turn around. Then you'll have good tension building. Okay. Yeah, and then with that, you'll be able to push, push the leg so that the- I've also noticed when I worked on that, it kind of naturally 
does this motion right here, yeah. is that good? Yeah, when you, have a, when you have a good shift, and then at the end of the shift, this shift is basically turn here. Okay. So you have, you have to support your body well with the right leg. Okay. So that is not too much? No. That's not too much? No, no, no. That's and not too much? No. <laughs> so let's, this, let's see if I can show you too much. This is the difference between what you do and what you feel. Mm. Okay. Is that too much? That's a bit too much, yeah. And then in the dynamic motion, you will not be able to go to that position. Right, you can't do that, can you? Yeah, so when you have a right leg almost the vertical, aligned vertically, then this is perfect. Okay, so that's what I'm, so when she's watching me, she can go, she can look for this. So when, when you have a good initial, initial shift, and then you start pushing the ground, and then bring the right hip up, then you will go to this position here but not till I've gone this way. And this is too much, and then you will never be able to do that actually in the dynamic situation. So when you have a continuous motion here, you cannot go that far, yeah. So when you start the backswing, after the trigger motion, so in the trigger motion, you will turn this way, right? Mm -hmm. And then you'll shift first, mm -hmm. and then try to turn mm -hmm. around the right hip here. Mm -hmm. So when you let the pelvis go a bit more, then everything becomes a lot more so, active. Okay, is this the right motion? Is that? No, instead of just going like this, you have to actually stand on this side, put weight on this side. Oh, so not, not, not so, that. So again, that's not making them different pressure. So we want yeah. to So in order to push the ground well with the right leg, then you'd really have to lo load, load that, on this side. Load that way. Okay. And then with that, you will be able to push and then move that way, yeah. So really let the pelvis move. That way you will be able to have a lot more active uh, motion here. So again, after trigger, don't be afraid of uh, shifting your pelvis away. I'm gonna exaggerate, and you tell me if it's too much. Yeah, so that one, you did not allow you, uh, your shoulder to turn. So during the trigger motion, you should have a good turn here. Okay. In this, position, when you start shifting, then you are pretty much shifting backward, mm -hmm. and then turn around. Okay. Uh, still, you're, 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 you're turning this too early. So go here and shift first, and then turn around. Now, we are not allowing your shoulder turn during the, the trigger. During the trigger, everything should come from good body turn. Turn here and then move backward and then turn around. How long have we been working on this and I can't do it? <laughs> so you have the good shoulder turn. Yes. And then in the trigger motion, you tend to just bring the arms here, but again, use your body. Okay. All right. More active uh, trigger using the body. Yes. Mm -hmm. Almost fell over that time. Yeah, but uh, now we're, we're hearing a very different sound here. That means that your swing is a lot faster. So don't be afraid of uh, shifting the body back. Although, because you are tall, so uh, when you do overdo it, then so it you know, comes a bit. Being so tall, balance has always been, you know, I've got 100 pounds from here to hear. <laughs> and so it's it's maybe been a false concern of mine, but it's always... When you add your arm and wrist motion later, then it will naturally slow down the body. So uh, actually you will have a more stable motion. Okay. So instead of using the arm early, mm -hmm. so start the, every, in, in any direction, start the motion with the body first and then turn around and add arm motion at the end. Going this way, Move the body first and the turn around and the add arm motion at the end. Okay. You ready? So stage, stage three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Still, uh, the, the motion is more arm driven when you go to backswing. So go here, doing the trigger motion. You have, if you have good push with the little leg here. I'm not pushing with that leg. Yeah, push and then just move backward without opening the chest early. 
shift and then turn around. Or you shift the first and then turn. Shift the first and then turn. Yeah, again, you're already you're going into this position, so let's do this. <laughs> okay. Fold your arms, and then lean forward. From there, let's go to the trigger position. Yeah, so when you have good trigger, then you will turn the shoulder and the door, your hands are here, mm -hmm. throwing like this. Mm -hmm. And then from there, yeah. So shift the back and then turn around. And you'll feel this, the, the bent knee, you'll feel the, the pressure on that bent <laughs> knee. So now, here with this, uh, this is bent, right? Mm -hmm. And then by pushing the ground and the turning around here. Also, this is part of the push as here is and then, part of the unweighting. And then just push. That's part of the unweight. Yeah. So go here and the unweight and then push and then push. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And just to relax, put, the, put your shoulder girders down here, relax here, mm -hmm. instead of. Okay. Go here. Mm. Yes, keep moving. Then you, now you're engaging your lower body a lot more. Now, and then as you, as you turn, try to keep the hands down here instead of going high up. When this goes high up, then your shoulder girder also goes higher. Mm. So come down here, down here. So the hands should be here. Then you'll have more body turn. Here. Uh, by the way, you said something that, just to clarify for me, that when you swing the kettlebell, mm. that yeah, come, back, come back to that uh, position so that the... Uh, when you swing, that's the, the path your hands should take. Is that correct? Now, uh, so let's uh, hold it again. Go there. Okay. There. Just keep it, uh, no, do not anchor here. Let it go down. Mm -hmm. Relax your arms. Mm -hmm. Just uh, let it go down. And then you will let the kettlebell swing like this. Uh, here, at the end, do, do not bend your elbow. Just uh, keep just turning like, keep just turning like this. Swing, 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 swing. Back, forward, away, toward, away, toward, away, toward, away, toward. This is the rhythm. Yes. And that's where your hand should be. That's your hand pad. Yeah, the, your, the hand pad will be really uh, toward the target. Swing back and forth, and then use your lower body. And then now you are giving right timing. Yeah, use the, up, use the lower body first and then swing around. Again, so go, swing, swing, let it go, let it go, swing, swing, swing. Kick the left leg, kick the left leg, left kick. Left the kick like this. Yeah, so that's the flow. Again, now let's go to a stage three. Use your shoulder turn, the body turn, instead of using. So uh, when you have a good trigger, this is the motion instead of. Okay. This motion. Okay. Keep the hands uh, closer to your body and then. And then in, in this position, don't need to lean that way. Slightly going slightly backward. Then you are ready to go down, go uh, this way. Yes. Yes, now it's uh, body driven. It's body driven. We get such a kick out of you when you go, yes, 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 yeah. that's it. <laughs> so, again, if you have a good throw here, then in order to maintain the balance, while you are kicking the ground with your left leg, but then your upper body has to lean slightly backward. Listen, this, this business that you, that you have invented, that there's a reverse C. <laughs> reverse pivot, yeah. I'm believing in it. My life is in your hands. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> so always, in order to start the shift, then you, have, you should have a good posture, right? Mm -hmm. Which is reverse pivot posture. When you are going this way, then naturally you will put the left to go. Again, we talked about dance earlier. Mm -hmm. When you dance around, you have to let the body go, otherwise, your body is still here, center mass is here, and you want to go that way, try to just to go, it's reaching out. If you, in the dance, you try to reach out, it doesn't work. You really have to let your body go, right? 
Yes. And then move around. The same thing. When you let it go, good trigger here. In order to go that way, you have to let the body go there first and then turn around, around the, this hip here. Yes. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> yes. That's it. Yes. It's just a matter of uh, orchestrating your body motion. Yes. Always, when you try to go in one direction, you have to prepare beforehand. You discovered a mystery of the universe, which is your back swing mirrors your down swing. Yeah, you will have a good motion here, and then you'll have the same thing there. The only thing is that as you repeat, as you go toward the downswing, you are increasing the amplitude and the level of effort. All, that's all we have here. Look at this. Now, in the downswing, you are not using your arms, but you're using your body turn here. Yes. You think I'm unweighting? Uh, yeah, so uh, you, the bottom line, you are using your body really well now. That means that has to come from your leg action. So you already have a good uh, core for ground interaction here. Now, the only thing is that during the trigger motion, let's do the trigger again. If your club head, if this is the swing plane you want to generate, mm -hmm. the club head is a bit off. Mm -hmm. Try to keep it on the swing mm -hmm. plane. Okay. So everything is uh, uh, color motion centric. Exactly. Yes. No surprise here. Uh huh. Yes, this is it. Let me record this. So, so it all depends on how you prepare for the next motion, right? If you have to turn this way after the trigger, then you have to prepare beforehand. That means you have a, just a reverse pivot posture and then lean this way yeah. in the well, turnaround. Was I reverse pivoting on those? Really? <laughs> because you are doing it already here, automatically you will do that. <laughs> because you are moving the, the body you know, that way. So. All right, so again, ready, go. Go. Yeah, so from uh, this direction here. Now your swing motion looks even more comfortable and flowing. Ready, go. Go. Yeah, and then more than anything, the swing is coming from your body now. Okay. <clears throat> See how it flows. Mm -hmm. This was the initial swing. Mm -hmm. You didn't have much motion this way. Well, you have this motion, but uh, you see, you don't have the, what is it, the rhythm or dancing mm -hmm. action here. Now. Mm. Now all we need to do is just repeat this and then swing faster and faster. So I don't really need to think about pressuring the right. No, 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 no. I just need to. As long as you move your body properly, so you have a good shift turn, shift turn rhythm here, then you are actually doing it. Okay. That's why you are moving the you body. You may not this. be able to exactly feel it, but it is happening. <laughs> so good initial shift and then turn around and shift in the turn around. Right, yeah. Yes. So now all you need to worry about is the whole motion is one piece motion, mm -hmm. continuous motion here. Anything that obstructs the motion of your arms and the club should be get rid, uh, mm -hmm. get, uh, rid of. So here. Mm, mm, mm. Look, uh, I have a question about the rope because mm -hmm. is the rope of the rope swing the same as the full swing? Or is it slower? 
So no, you can you can have. Uh, That's the same as my. The rope swing is a bit faster than the your club swing. Really? Yeah. So in the rope swing, the purpose is uh, having reasonably equal amount of effort both okay. ways. So establish a good swing plane. So when um, when it wraps around here and mm. you say you know it's a work to wrap, mm. that's the actual amount of maturing that has to. Yes. Occur yes. Up the so. When you do the club swing, although the club is here, but uh, you are waiting until this imaginary rope go around your body. You have to have that kind of timing. Mm. Mm. Uh. Yeah. So when you, you when you use the club, then on the way back here, although the club stops about yeah. here, yeah. but w you know have uh, your, your imaginary rope going around, and they give a little bit time so that okay. that imaginary rope goes around your body. Because the rope feels, the rhythm of the rope feels so much easier than the rhythm of the club. Mm. I've been thinking, well, it must be slower. It must not. Yeah, in the, in the in the club swing, because we have a different level of effort. Mm -hmm. And as you go down, you obviously have a lot more effort, right? Mm -hmm. But to try to have a good wind up. So now, focus on the wind up aspect. All you pay attention is this club head motion here. So go here and then bring it back and good wind up and let, let it go. Okay. And then uh, you you can uh, you will naturally have a bit more time up there. So yes. Mm -hmm. Now make everything still bigger, and then a bit faster. See how it goes. So in front of you you have a big pinata here. Then hit it hard and then break it. Yes. How can I swing with that on the golf course? It just seems so out of control. Mm -mm. It's not, because it's not, you're not used to do this. Okay. And then when you have a faster swing, have more time up here. Was that one faster? Was yeah, that this one was a lot faster. Really? A lot faster, but then again, remain, uh, remember that you are waiting okay. for the imaginary you're rope. Faster, you're waiting for the rope yeah. to come around. Yeah, yeah, so that, So that you can prepare your body for the downs, you could wind up and then let it go. Now, now here's the, the idea. Let's make it more continuous here. Mm -hmm. So because the back swing and down swing is a continuous motion here, mm -hmm. we are doing this back swing as a counter movement to have a good initial condition for the down swing. So your goal is not to have a whack motion like this, but rather using this and then whack. Okay. So real active motion is only one in the down swing you are going to that condition, initial condition, by using the back swing and then let it go. So your now, goal is not whack, whack this what, what do my feet? What do my feet feel up here? You see, they, I, they feel, should they feel? Your feet? My feet, the pressure of my feet. This is why, why would you worry about your feet? I don't know, I'm worried no. about all kinds of things. No need to worry about that. As long as you have a good flow rhythm, that's why I'm using these uh, practical drills. Mm -hmm. Although we went through all the data, mm -hmm. talked about torque mm -hmm. and moment time and everything, but that's the basis of all this here. And in this one, all you need to worry about is just a good flow, and particularly what I'm currently telling you is, instead of really fast backswing, snappy backswing, and then, okay. then you feel a bit unstable. So when I'm on the golf course, rhythm, rhythm, mm -hmm. rhythm. So let's say this. Yeah. Uh, I've so then you will have more time, okay? And that the motion is continuous. <laughs> yes. When you do that, the flow is really good. It is? Yeah. It's only only you because it's not something you normally do. Mm -hmm. So you are not used to do uh, this rhythm. Mm -hmm. But uh, the flow is really good, actually. Does it look good to you? Yeah. <laughs> she watches it more than anybody, so. Yeah, it looks really good. Like you see, see how <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really, when you have a good time, uh, VJ sing that exaggerated VJ. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
And then now. Don't worry about your feet. Mm, at the end, the only thing is a swing and then try to stand on the left side. I okay. have a hard time doing that. Why can't I do that? I can't do it. <laughs> because you are not used to it. But, but it's okay. But it's okay. You can certainly do it. Like that? Yeah, that's better. You can certainly do it. Yeah. Now your swing is very different. The, the way you are swinging, the flow is really good. You are using your whole body a lot better. And I'm, I'm, I'm getting this. Yeah, only as much as you need. So you don't need to worry about it. Now the flow is so good you have just the right amount of motion. Okay. So just to pay attention to the flow, keep uh, repeating this. Pay attention to the club head motion overall. Make it continuous. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, so currently the trigger motion goes all the way up here. Mm -hmm. Let's reduce it a little bit. So mm -hmm. about here, but still using the body. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. So still keep the hands about here. Okay. Instead of lifting okay. it up, right. let it go more that way. So you are making a strong statement. I'm going to hit the ball to you. Mm. And then bring it back. All right. That will give you, I think, a more stable uh, backswing. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, stand on the left side. Mm -hmm. Now, so this, this flow is really good. Let's add your left leg. Oh, before that, let me record this. I need to record this. This is really good. If you look at your flow, you will be uh, surprised. Or uh, actually, you'll be happy. <laughs> so, ready, go. Go. Ready, go. go. Yeah, the flow. Now the timing is really good. Flow. Yeah, you're using the body a lot more. Mm -hmm. It's a fuller looking swing. Yes, because you are now engaging your body more. And then if we go back to uh, Look at this. Mm, slow as molasses. Yeah. yeah. So this is, is what happens. When you start feeling the rhythm, the flow, automatically you are moving better and the, everything is faster. When you are used to, to it by repeating this you know, for a number of times, then even when you have a normal swing, you will be able to do that. So it's a natural it progression. It's so out of control, but I just have to keep working with it. Mm. It's just uh, how you feel. Because uh, in your swing, Although you had this motion, but mainly it was coming from your arm action here. Really? It doesn't feel that different to me, but... The, uh, like, let's look at it carefully here. So this is your initial swing. Oh, I see. Picking up my arms. Yeah, I can mm. see you picking them up right there. Everything is really slow, and then you're picking up, and then yeah. this is also from the, leg, uh, the arm action here. Yeah. When you look at this flow here... Yeah, I see the difference. Mm. So the back swing is bigger. In terms of color motion, mm -hmm. it's passing the horizontal mm -hmm. alignment here. Why? You have a more momentum in the back swing. Mm. So naturally, it goes more. Mm. So you are just lifting up here mm -hmm. and then using the arm here. Mm -hmm. yes. But 30, now, by, 40, by, 40 years. Yeah, by using the body, you are letting the arm and the club go naturally. That's, that's a faster swing right there. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's faster. Yeah, and then down the line view. You can see it with your eyeballs. Look at this. So it's just a continuous motion here. All we need is just to repeat this and then adding a bit more effort. You'll be able to uh, 
start using the left leg. So that effort extends all the way down to your wedge. It extends all the way through your all your clubs. Basically, once you develop this rhythm, you will be able to use this in every club condition naturally. And what happens is uh, what I what I've seen commonly is that if your driver, for example. Uh, distance increased by 30 yards, mm -hmm. then you will have at least one club distance increased, mm -hmm. so more than 10 yards in all the clubs. And so my arms are going out better like this now? Mm -hmm. Because you're using the momentum here. This was this reverse seat here. Yeah. As soon as you started using that, certainly the flow re yeah. became really good. Even during the action, you are not using you know, your, uh, your arms a lot. Yeah, this is what you need to do in the uh, regular backswing. Yeah. So use your body and then bring it up. Yeah. Okay. So now, during the recentering motion, during the recentering motion, try to lower your left side a bit more. Okay. And then that means that you have a good uh, left knee bend. Then when you start downswing, try to kick it hard. See how it goes. So mm -hmm. instead of using your arms and everything. You are, in, you are now, uh, uh, what is it, awakening your lead leg. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Keep more, keep your, you have good, bring, bring it up, the, bring the left hip up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at this, so uh, as you uh, push the ground more with the left leg, the swing gets faster because Left leg is a good contributor, an important contributor to uh, speed. Again, so in order to, as we talked about uh, earlier, in order to have a good push, then you have to let that side drop. drop. So that happens during the backswing. Uh, during the backswing. Yeah, not the roar macro thing, but yeah. just the as, as you are recenter, let the left side drop a little bit, and then kicking the ground, and then turn around. And when it's dropping, won't I feel a little bit of that unweighting feeling? Unweighting comes, if you are, your left knee bends, that means you are in unweighting. Okay. Because, of, because your body is going down, the left knee is flexing. <laughs> okay. All right. So make sure that the, during the trigger, at the end of trigger motion, you have a good reverse pivot posture. Okay. The same thing. At the end of the back swing, also reverse pivot posture. All right. That will give you a good recentering and uh, dropping of the left side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You <laughs> see, the, the, the sound of your swing is uh, the whipping sound is uh, very different. So, really, the speed. Do you hear the difference? The speed is coming from your left leg. So, when you can push the ground well with the left leg, so you have to create that. Condition, right? So you fe you feel that pressure there, and then you react to that pressure. You just push. Yeah. Now, because your body is moving that way, then this guy has done its uh, wrong. It's work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then the the ball is uh, in uh, his court mm -hmm. okay, on this left side. Mm -hmm. Then you have to let the left side use, and then swing and then stand on the left side. Yeah. Something's wrong with that. No, no, no. no. It's just a, more than anything, you have to repeat this again and again. Then your body will better organize all this. So, uh, you know, and then you will feel more comfortable. The flow will be better. Use a good trigger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we are talking about very different speed now. Really? Okay. Let me record this one more time and then we'll move on to your regular swing. Right. So one, uh, this rhythm is something you are not used to. So, but the best is when you repeat, you know, again and again, Sometimes it's a good idea to uh, stand in front of a mirror 
so that you can see your motion. Or you know, you use a camera and record your motion and then check every time. So don't, so here's, this is, we, we like this part right here. Yeah, yeah. So while you are letting your pelvis move horizontally a lot, but when you have a continuous motion like this, then you will never be able to move this too far. Okay. Okay, you cannot go over too much because you have a continuous rhythmic motion here. That means everything is under control, so it will limit it. So essentially, you have this cone-shaped space here. Mm -hmm. Your pelvis is moving a lot, but upper body won't move that much. So that comes from stepping-like action, right? Stepping-like action. OK, now, again, one practice and I will record. All right, so uh, ready, go. <laughs> Already, I can hear the sound. <laughs> Nine six. I'm, I, I'm ashamed of myself. Absolutely ashamed of myself. Okay. Ready? Go. Go. Yeah. Now it's getting getting natural. You are getting natural. So the flow is uh, you know something like you you have done this for long. <laughs> Now let's go back to uh, oh, not this one. Mm. Yeah, it's very. It's, yeah. it's really. It's that arm, just picking it's up. It's really arm driven. Yeah, yeah, really picking up the arms mm. and making your back swing with the arms. Yeah. What's well, crazy? I've been yeah. working on this like a fiend. Okay. Now, <laughs> now everything is uh, started by the body. You have a body mm -hmm. motion. Mm -hmm. so everything is working together. You are not really trying to dominate anything, mm -hmm. right? You just let it go here and then let it go here. Mm -hmm. So use the uh, use stage three as your pre-shot routine, okay? And then, so when you have a good full effort uh, stage three, then approach to the ball, mm -hmm. and then without the trigger motion, still you will be able to use that body action. Mm -hmm. So uh, show me, as if uh, there is a ball here, okay? So stage three, followed by your regular swing. So first the stage three. Mm -hmm. And then aim the ball. Yeah, you can make the back swing a bit faster, a bit faster, more active. So again, stage three first. Mm -hmm. And then. Oh, this is good. Yeah, this time it was good. That was? Yeah, when you start, you use the body a lot really? better. Yeah. Really? Now, here you have to develop good image of your backswing. Mm -hmm. Now, don't need this one, but also in your image of backswing, you have to include this recentering part here. That's what, I mean, I can't feel that. It's going so fast. I can't feel that recentering. So when you have a good shift away initially, so before you start the turning, if you have a good shift away, automatically it's guaranteed that you have a good... As soon as, as, soon as you, the hip goes up, it's going to reset. Yeah, yeah because the right, right foot is pushing the ground. It's here, it's got to reset. Yes. So all you need to feel is that you're going into a reverse pivot posture here. Then okay. everything is done. All right, let's try it. So in order to have reverse pivot posture, you have to let the pelvis go more this way, right? Yeah. So go here, and then when you're going into a reverse pivot posture, naturally you're going back, recentering. So all you need to feel is that at the end of the backswing, you are going into this reverse pivot posture here. Okay. okay. So again, stage three and the regular swing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel any. <laughs> if you really feel a lot of motion, then it may be too much. Okay. Yeah, so uh, let's 
let's say, let's try to narrow your stance a little bit. Then, then you will be able to better feel the recentering motion. You see? Yeah, <laughs> now you are standing on the left side. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think my stance is too wide? It's something you have to experiment. Okay. Uh, there are cons and pros. So, um, yeah, I can't see it better than that one. Yeah, now you feel more shifted this way because you can stand on the left side. But that means that you, you need to narrow your stance a little bit. Yeah. So now st stage three and the uh, regular swing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let me record this. So relax. You are, you are demanding too much. So uh, <laughs> you are just uh, torturing yourself. So just uh, try to enjoy the rhythm. Okay. The more than anything, when you have a good rhythm here, everything becomes easier. And then. So we haven't really talked about the up part. Because uh, that up part is coming from uh, that, that is coming with this uh, reverse pivot posture. As long as you have that, then already you are pushing that way. Okay. And the fact that overall the flow is good, that means that you have a right timing of a push. So you are doing it, actually. Okay. But uh, if, if uh, you want to feel it, so if you exaggerate, then it becomes too much. Okay. Just to make it natural. Mm -hmm. So although we talk about these things, but the bottom line is it should be organized well in the whole motion. Right? Amen, brother. Yeah. So, stage three, followed by your regular swing. Ready, go. Mm hmm. Ooh. Mm hmm. You will see uh, the difference in your swing. So your, your swing is changing, okay? Okay, ready, stage three and the regular swing. Ready, go. Stream. Yeah. So if I want more speed, then go the, back faster. Back faster, and then also you have to shift it this way more, and then you you should really be able to use the left leg. So that's something uh, in the long run we have to practice. So my left leg is still not really doing what it could do. Hmm. Right. But yeah, but uh, I think I, uh, this actually improved the. Uh, this swing pattern improved the, the way you're, you're, you're using your left leg a lot better now. Yeah, so you are asking too much. Okay. <laughs> okay, now, now, let's do uh, with the actual ball here, okay? Okay. So again, use the stage three as your pre-shot routine, mm -hmm. and then hitting the ball. But make sure that you uh, feel the overall flow of motion here okay. and then use it in your regular swing. You know, I've been I've focused on smooth swinging for so long mm. that it's hard for me to feel a motion that I like unless it's super smooth. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's many years of training. Yeah, so let's dance and then feel the rhythm. Mm-hmm. And approach to the ball. <laughs> Again. And they have a faster back swing and they have more time up here while you are 
recentering. So, oh, VJ sing. VJ sing. Yeah, that the exaggerated VJ. Okay. Again. VJ Again, stage three. Correct. Yeah. Uh, oh, VJ sing. The sing is, is your left foot push. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. Everything is uh, matched with the uh, push. Ooh. VJ sing. But PJ has a longer exaggeration, that means you have to have more time here. So good right, right foot push, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that timing is good. VJ. So this time it's not hoop VJ, but the, that hoop should come without the motion. And then the, in the regular swing, in the regular swing, Here's the, ooh, it's a, the body preparation. Right. Mm, right. Yeah, I just didn't do it right. So again. It's a lot of stuff. Get going. Stage three. Yes, that's good to flow. BJ. Yes, that's really nice. That rhythm, that rhythm. So, and then this will prepare your body. Okay, now I'll record this thing. Stage three and the, hitting the ball. Okay, ready, go. Good timing. Go. Good timing. Okay, and the same thing. Ready, go. Mm -hmm. Now it's becoming your natural swing pattern. So without much effort, the floor is really good here. I don't understand why I haven't been able to do this at home. The swing, the swing is very different now. And then down the line view. So it's really a few milliseconds of moving your body first or picking up your arms. Yeah, Just a few yeah, milliseconds yeah. difference. Isn't so the main, the big difference is your initial shift. Good initial shift. It doesn't have to be really big motion, but the the rhythm, motion. yeah, rhythm wise, flow wise, you have an initial shift and then turn around. That makes just a whole thing different. And all you remember is just going into a slight reverse pivot posture. Okay. Now, let's do this here. Let me bring this back here. I don't do this usually, but um, for you to give you a confidence. Well, if you don't do it, I was going to go back home a crippled man. So. Yeah. Okay. So stage three again, and then hit I the ball. Hmm. Mm. Okay. And the approach. <laughs> 100, yes. All right. Jesus. About, about four miles per hour higher. Now use your left leg. Try to use your, your left leg a bit more. Okay. And the standing on the left side, right? So again, stage three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I pushed as hard as I could on that one. 
Sorry, let me do it again. Yeah. Yes. You know, with the your swing, just improving the flow, we can see that your swing is getting faster and faster. So, one or two, then six miles per hour higher. That's huge. Six percent is freaking. That's a miracle. Yes. Yes. And then you are doing it because you have a lot better flow now. You are not fighting anything. You are engaging your body more and more. You know. I've swung carefully with my arms for many decades. Mm. But you think my throw out, my wrist, all that looks good. I don't yes, because uh, as we, when we looked at the data, your kinematic sequence was good, your expected pattern was good, right? So the way you're moving your body is good. The only thing is that uh, it was too weak. You know, you were just lifting the arm here and then going down here, but now, by using the body, and also you let the club go a bit more, mm -hmm. these will just uh, you know, make a big difference. Again, try to use your left leg more. Yes. Yeah, with the confidence, you'll be able to use the left leg more, and it's getting faster and faster. Yeah, now you can easily uh, hit the 101, 102, yeah. okay? So you, now you have the confidence that when you do this right, then uh, you will definitely have a higher speed. That means, and also the impact is good. As normally your impact was really, you know, is always good. So all you need is just uh, have a bit more wind up. Now let me ask you one question if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. Sometimes in, in, in the last few weeks, when I've tried pushing on that left leg, it goes, dead right with a slice. What happens is uh, when you turn your body too much, mm. then you have to swing that way. Mm. But right now, you are using the rhythm instead of try to intentionally try to turn this way or that. Because yeah. you need something on the golf just, course. Yeah, just use the momentum, let it go Ow. instead of try to Ow. pull it in. Ow. Mm. Well, one thing uh, we haven't tried here, or one thing I did not, emphasize much today is starting the backswing with the more closed posture yeah. and then delaying opening of the chest. So let's feel this motion here. Fold the arms facing that way. So go to the top position. And here, as you recenter, try to turn more this way yeah. and then let it go. Yeah, something like that. Like that. Yeah, so it's a bit. So, what that means is that even when you're recentering, still your shoulder is turning right. more. Instead of just stop there and then try to turn the opposite way. So, try to have a continuous shoulder turn, even so when. It's kind of like it feels like your shoulder's turning all the way until you start down, more or less, right? Yeah, Would yeah, you agree yeah. With that? So, now hold the club. And no need to hit the ball at this point. Let's use just a swing. Get rid of these here. And then do the stage three. Okay, stage three. But when you start the downswing, try to have a feel of a more wind up while you are shifting this way and delay opening of the chest. So the way you delay opening the chest is to keep turning. Mm -hmm. You can't do that from just not, not opening it. <laughs> you know so, what? yeah, because you are so accustomed to this swing here. Normally, you stop turning and then start the downswing. Right. But now, this is a challenge because that's why I did not emphasize this that much earlier. But let's try this as the last uh, thing to do. Because you are already showing us good progress, then why not? Mm. Now you have a uh, more shift to the left side. What happens? Wow, felt weird. <laughs> of course, of course, because you have to shift this way more. What happens is you are starting from more. Turn yeah. position here, and then all you need is just to push the ground and turn around, and already you are on the left, left side. That's what I've been trying to do for quite a while now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> then you have uh, worship the to this side. Mm. And then kick the left leg, kick the left leg. I was like that. Is that it? Yeah, so uh, how do you feel now with repeating this uh, maybe three or four times? How do you feel? Still weird? Well, I think that would feel fantastic if I could get it in my game. Hmm. I think. I think that's what would feel really smooth. Yeah. So, what if, you know, in reality, you don't have to have a lot more turn. Right. Okay. Just if you don't rush it down, if you don't open just the chest the early, time. simply just holding it there, even it will give you benefit, right? You don't even have to add more turn, but rather just try to hold it a bit longer there and then turn around. I had any success trying to hold it. So maybe if I just so in your intention, turning. yeah, in your intention, let's try to keep turning. Then you will be able to settle somewhere between that just the holding versus more turn. It also feels like falling. Yeah. So when you let that, and then already you're on this side, and this is the kick and the turn around. <laughs> And then kick the left leg harder. Yeah, this will give you a better, uh, you know, situation where you can use your left leg more actively. So now, let's try to hit the ball and see if you can do this. I'm just uh, exploring this. If you can actually do this, and they still have a good impact control, then that's it, okay? So I will put this bag here, the ball here. Again, stage three, and then even in the regular swing, try to uh, implement that motion a little bit. It makes you, it makes you sink into that leg more if you keep turning, mm. right? Is that correct? Yeah. You want to feel yeah. that? That's the idea, that's the idea. Okay, now approach the ball. Uh, Wrong number? Yeah, 126. I don't think that's my number. Probably it, it uh, picked up your speed uh, earlier. Well, I wish it was. Maybe too far, for, too far away. Okay, again. Yeah, so, so feel the overall flow. Mm -hmm. Now try to uh, increase the leg action. So really, let me just to show you this. So what happens is, um, for example, if I use the horizontal swing as an example, you can shift away in the swing, swing like this. So you can increase the speed to a certain, certain degree by shifting the body. Now, When I use uh, my lower body, my kick kicks should the ground. Should I practice a horizontal swing? Do you think I should practice it? This is something you can do, uh, you know, oh. easily just the swing and they keep a little bit of uh, lateral motion, natural lateral motion continuously. Okay, this will allow you to shift more and then coming back natural, shift away in the recentering motion here. And then if you add lowering of the body near the end of the back swing, Now you can swing with the leg action. But the, so uh, when you engage your left leg more, the, it definitely gets uh, faster. So this time, is, uh, let's do this. Instead of paying attention to your body motion, try to pay attention to the club motion, club head motion. Go, bring it back, go, here, he keep good time, and then let it go. Okay. 
So stage three first. Yes. That felt good. Yeah. Forty-four. What's? Oh, let me. Let's move I think the best players in the world feel their club head. You know, I think they can feel it all. The yeah. Way. So that's why you can control. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Again, stage three. And they feel uh, the pay attention to the clever motion, good continuous motion. Yes. One of four. <laughs> Monster. <laughs> So from what, 95, 96? It was 94. 94. I'm ashamed to say it. 104 is a 10, Percent. 10 miles per more, hour. More than 12% increase. increase. So as you keep this again and again, repeat, repeating this, what happens is if your body gets, gets used to it, then you'll be able to add the level of effort. So maybe that's what I should play with on the golf course, is just the feeling of the clip. Yeah, yeah, clip it motion. You know. always, always the clip it motion is the most important one. If you do something you know, strange and then either if it obstructs the motion of the arms and club head, then that's it, right? So you have to have an unobstructed motion of the arms and the club, particularly pay attention to the motion of the club head. Now- well, That was my fastest swing with my club head. Yeah. Just with yeah, my club yeah, head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So th this is the last one. All right. <laughs> if you want to uh, break the record, that's okay. <laughs> so stage three, feel the motion. That big crane was so excited when he hit 118. He's like, oh my God. <laughs> That's fast. Yeah. 46. Yeah. This is all about how you use your body. Still, you have the ability to generate that kind of speed. Yeah. So I feel the motion of the club head. Yes, good flow. Now. Oh, you're breaking things. Oh, it didn't record it. It said 72. <laughs> that's all right. But that's okay. That's okay. So, yeah. I mean, uh, 10 miles per hour increases. Yeah. Uh, big increase.